new clip here. It got sound. Hey, man, that is all a myth. Drugs don't mess you up. Hello? Hello? <sighs> that wrong number. That was a coffee! Bad dog! Like I said, a uh, drug don't mess you up. Hey, man, that is... All right, so the biggest concern I have here is Bad this, how it really breaks the audio. Bad dog! That's just killing all the devils there. Um, and then this... Uh, I don't know if that would kill, you know, a Demoreal in general, or just, uh, to me, it kills the piece of it. Um, I wish there was a different quality of that sound piece. That might just be me, but um, that's just a bit jarring. Apart from that, let's bring down the sound a bit. Hey, man. Watch out, he's he's leaning heavily hey man, that is all a myth. for the whole time. And it's almost to me like you could start the other way and goes hey man. hey man and that's when he goes over there and because of and that lean he has to take steps myth. to then land and sit there even then the watch out this feels like you got a neck here and then the head is over to the left where you want to bring that head over a bit more or maybe a c line there but it feels like we're just a bit over compared to what this is but that's the main thing there also in terms of like i like this in terms of uh you got your line with the hair asymmetry in the face but then we're kind of symmetrical and it's kind of like eh it feels like we can go broader not broader but a bit more interesting that's why i would maybe you can have him like this where maybe he has like one hand on there and then he's about to say something goes hey, hey. and then with that gesture there is like he pushed himself off and then that gesture gets and into that, that whole pose there watch out again we're very twinned i would i would offset that a bit more given that he is Clearly on, you know, something's going on with his head here. Uh, we can push that a bit further. And also that way you don't have that moment of upper arms going up. And then beep, they're locked. And then it feels like it's mostly coming through the elbows there. A myth. I do like the timing of hold myth. into this. Myth. Of what the arms are doing. Also fun poses, nice hand poses there. The drop though feels very harsh. I like that you have this stop and there's an impact on the head. But it just generally feels really harsh. And I'll probably soften that a little bit. That might just be me. Drugs don't mess. And then on something like that. Watch out. Like that path is fairly straight. And then fairly straight down with a little pop there at the end. Where I think you can be a bit more playful in your arcs of how that foot comes up. And even this one just feels really really broken there you know it's got such you know long long skinny legs i know but maybe there's something where you can play this where maybe they're more out like that and then the foot has to be down as in how he gets this out is till the very end and then maybe you know the foot moving comes in out like that and then you can bring it down but again we're, we hit then this pose where it's pretty much the same orientation of that foot till the end where i will play with that again a bit more in terms of what the feet are doing what the arcs of the legs are doing this could have a bit more of a you know a bit more of a relaxed little little drop there and watch out it feels a little bit like hand and foot are a bit in sync there and how they drop Up. and then just as, as an in-between i'd be careful when you have stuff like where it's like right in front of the upper arm killing the silhouette where this could have been a bit of a Get a bit of a like a flourish plop there to give it a cleaner silhouette. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. Same thing there. At this point, I feel like his arms, almost like long spider legs, are doing something totally separate from what the upper body's doing. So if he's like this and he brings those legs up, I like that he also goes up a bit, but I think we could do a bit more to feel like that massive move of the legs influencing what the upper body is doing there. And then watch out, it feels like, are we kind of drifting? Hello? No, it's okay. Hello? Wrong number. That was a... This is just me, but you got a tangent right there. <laughs> I'm always looking at lines. It's tricky when you have prop lines, you know, sets and stuff like that. That I have to be careful where they line up, and especially with the darkness here. I would clean up that negative space there a little bit. That finger right there on that uh, upper arm there. 
shop. Feels like there's a, there's a pinky intersection through there. How's was a coffee? And the same thing here. It's like, not that it's, you know, it moves over that lamp, but then it's kind of stuck right there. I don't know. Uh, this feels more like his head is being sucked up by a ginormous lamp vacuum or something. I know you want him to go a coffee. crazy, but now we're suddenly... I feel like this is so stretched that it almost feels like we're off model. Again, you got a bit of a tangent there. You could free up that silhouette. That's just that sound kills me. That's like that's the biggest bummer. Like I said. And then at the end here, when he kind of goes, eh, like, like I said, the couple of things here where it's. If you look at the beginning, it seems like he's talking. It will pass us a bit more on the right. Watch out. Now he's suddenly talking almost at me. Yes, he talks on the phone. I, mean, that's, I don't mind all of that. And then he says all of this. But then he's looking like way to the left over there. And then way to the left down there. And then back up there. And it feels like that eye has a bit of a drift. Watch out. Feels a bit like those eyes are a bit wonky through there. Like I said. And then it gets a bit too separate to me how those arms are moving compared to what the upper body is doing. Again, this was more like as guy move those arms, those arms into a new pose. There's a tangent right there between the finger and this, and right the crotch and the fingers there. Where I would have that go into like a different pose. Like he's out like this and goes like I said. Eh, like I said. And then he could maybe straighten up a little bit. I drug don't mess you up. Because now you're starting to, start to like a heavy, heavy I drift don't mess you up. of what the root is doing before the before the sit down. But then again, just going back to your eyes, like I said, a bit wonky like and slidey, and now we're suddenly looking past us up, up there, and then he's like really cross-eyed, which I know, maybe that's how you want to play this, but so watch out of eyeline. Where we, what, what is he looking at, or who is he looking at? Is he by himself? Is this just something that he does to himself there? I was kind of look at that. I, drug don't mess you up. I do like that little head shake there. Drug don't mess you. It just feels very stroby, like jittery fast, but I like the idea. Drug don't mess. Eh, for a little subtle thing. I would just slow down like how quickly he does it and gives it a few more frames. Just soften it a little bit, but I like the idea a lot there. Drug don't mess you. But careful then we are. Even though silhouette wise it's not, it just feels very twinned. Just like just the same pose and you could do something else. Maybe this is a very lazy critique where I'm saying maybe something more original. It's like, okay, well, what then? But it could be something where, like I said, like I said, and maybe he wants to be playful and maybe he puts his hand back on the table. Maybe his fingers dance a bit around. They're like, eh, I want to distract almost from what just happened. Don't mess you up. And then he kind of slides them back that is all up. To, to that moment. You know I mean something where maybe he's like, eh, maybe he's stuck in this. Oh, eh. And he uses this. Well, I'm already hunched over. Might as well put my hand on there. And then kind of pretend to be like with the shoulder up here. Like, eh. It's fine. I'm totally fine. Versus this. Got some more asymmetry there. You can play into like, I'm already leaning over. Might as well hold on to this as I'm sliding back into the chair. And then I don't mind this. Just because now he wants to be. It's all fine. Like, in terms of, I have control over this. This is where the twinning, I don't mind. But this is almost reinforcing, I'm in control. This is all, you know, mirror. This is control. I'm fine. But then this destroys the image of, like, nah, it's not It's not fine. I'm not fine at all. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of that. As always, let me know what you think. Uh, take whatever you want from this feedback. And uh, that's it. Until next time. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.